Right, welcome back to Smithy's Over 100 Golf Courses in a year. It's uh, Tuesday the 20th of, uh, of July today, still in Wales. Uh, last course I'm playing in Wales before I go home. And this is course number 103. Uh, it's West Monmouthshire in Bermuda, or Nantiglo to be more precise. Uh, I'm looking forward to this, so let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 103, it's West Monmouthshire Golf Club on the tee, the man playing the last game in Wales of this trip and he's now played over half the courses in Wales, fantastic place to play golf from Kirk and Tillich in Scotland, Smithy It's par 3 second at West Monmouthshire, or West Mon as it's going to be called now uh, 163 yards, fair bit of rough to clear, I can't see what's over the mound there uh, nice hole. There's a wee shot of the green. Nice, nice green. But you know, because my bog's about 12 feet away. Birdie chance early on. Uh, it's a six hole at Westmorn, another par three, 140 yards. A oh, lovely green. Uh, pins tucked away down in the bottom corner. We better rough to go over, to go over there. If we do a wee shoot round. Right towards there, we've got the Brecon Beacons away in the distance. That first town I think is New Town there. I have a pan round to the left from here. That's Ebbe Vale. And then you carry on, you can back down the valleys. So I'll just whiz back down again. And back to a very nice par 3. This is the uh, 8th here at Westmorn. Uh, par 4. Mainly downhill, but in fact it's quite a steep drop downhill. Uh, 279 yards, so it doesn't look the hardest. Uh, but no, it looks lovely from the tee. The way up there, it's the head of the valleys road. And uh, around there, Bryn Mawr. And there's a peak up there, I don't know what that one is. Alright, there's a wee shot of the hole again. Uh, this approach to the ninth, it's a par 5, 440 yards uphill mainly, dog leg to the right and then once you're up the hill it, it drops down down to the green there, Ebbe Vale in the background oh gorgeous sunny day it's a uh, tenth at Westmore, par 3, 211 yards oh my god this looks tough uh, down the way but then it rises quite steeply up the hill you pan round just to give you View of the surroundings. Oh, this is tough. This is 12th here at Westmore. Par 4, 330 yards. Straight down, then the dog legs up the hill to the right. You can see it away in the distance. And a little lake down there. Right, this is a view from behind the 13th green at Westmore, Mr. It's officially the highest green altitude wise in the UK. So if we go get Bryn Mawr over there, uh, pan round, round the Ebbe Vale on this side. Yeah, I'm not sure how, how high up. The, the course isn't that hilly, it's a hilly climb to, to this one, it's a par 5. Um, only, that's only the second one where there's been a wee bit of a climb in the course because the course is up in a bit of a plateau. But yeah, here we are. Highest green in the UK. I'm up in the 14th tee at Westmorland Golf Club As you can see according to the sign, the highest tee in Great Britain uh, Again, down we go, we'll just walk forward to the, the tee And there we are, looking over to Bryn Mawr And uh, if we go down a wee bit, there's the highest, highest green in Great Britain the 13th, there's the back to the 14th tee. Hey, downhill we go. Another brilliant hole here at West Morn. This is the 16th. Uh, it's a par 3, way down the hill, 244 yards. So it's down there somewhere. You can vaguely pick out the flag. Oh, it's wonderful. So many good holes in this course. Uh, it's a closer shot at the 16th green, way further down the hill. It's a huge drop. Look at that, lovely green, just 
So a case down the hillside there, or the bottom of the hillside. Beautiful. Uh, 17th at Westmont. We've got another par three in here, 172 yards. Uh, all the rough down there. We get the tree at the back. Mine's in front, so you probably don't. If I go a bit further back, it's a blind tee shot. Uh, just have a look, see where the pin's tucked in behind that mine in the middle there. But again, another lovely hole. Here's the view down the 18th at Westmorn, 338 yards, par 4. And the green's just tucked away in just before the clubhouse there. Oh, loving that fairway there, it's all humpy bumpy. Uh, it's uh, high up, uh, like linksy stuff. Oh, just absolutely loving it, brilliant. This is a shot of the double tiered 18th green. Uh, clubhouse in the background. Oh, it's a fantastic hole, this one. What a finishing hole. I played into a narrow green, but you say double tiered, contoured, oh brilliant. I just finished an 18 at Westmorland Golf Club, wow, absolutely brilliant, just loved it from start to finish. Oh, just can't help but enjoy yourself in this course, one of the most enjoyable courses I can ever remember. Oh, oh just full of it. It's, uh, it's the highest up course in the UK, or the GB mainland. Anyway, uh, the 14th tee, as I said earlier, is the highest tee in, the, in Great Britain and the 13th green is the highest green in Great Britain but it's not that hilly, there's two climbs, third and the 13th apart from that, it's sort of, you're quite high up anyway and it's sort of on a plateau The course is just brilliant, there's some absolutely amazing holes on there some of the par 3's, oh, just terrific um, the closing hole, the 18th, I just love it it's kind of link style, Heathland uh, high up and uh, greens are superb as well nicely shaped as well I, I, I just loved everything about it it's just a lovely course to play and uh, for me it's going to be well considering it's only 15 quid to play here you wouldn't believe that and for me it's going to be a big 9.75 absolutely loved it come back anytime I put a wee rider in there and, and it's, it's a fantastic gloriously hot day today but it's a lovely breeze because you're high up there. If this was uh, windy and raining, it's a wee bit exposed up in the hill there. So, not quite sure what the course would be like then. I don't know what would be quite so enjoyable. But it certainly was today. Thank you.